dear participants to the Olympiads, dear colleagues, today we are pleased to present awards to the winners of the International Environmental Olympiad competition of students of the CIS countries, Fundamental Sciences for Sustainable Development, organized by the Dmitry Mendeleev University of Chemical Technology of Russia, which I want to thank. This Olympiad competition was under the auspices of the International Year of Basic Sciences for Sustainable Development. A few words on this International Year. So for this, I will share with you a presentation Here it is, uh, the International Year of Basic Sciences for Sustainable Development in 2022 is under the auspices of uh, UNESCO. It has been proclaimed by the, uh, General, by the General Assembly of the United Nations in December 2021. And to uh, show you the rationale behind this International Year, I think there is nothing better than a short video which was made by, by CERN. Uh, CERN it is a, the Inter International Organization for Particle Physics in Europe. Uh, starting in it, my grandniece, Eloise Goldberg, who is uh, 13 years old. I hope you will enjoy. <laughs> Curiosity about the world around us is what makes us human. This desire to make sense of the world is the driving force behind fundamental science. Stirred by this curiosity, each new generation of scientists adds to the pool of knowledge built up by previous generations. We are at a crucial time for the future of our planet. Now, more than ever, it is imperative to use this pool of knowledge to help solve the global problems we face and pave the way for a more sustainable development. And we must not stop being curious. Future generations will be inspired by the knowledge we contribute today, equipping them with the powerful tools they need to build a better world. I hope you enjoyed. I want to show you further some examples of what is behind this rationale. Uh, vaccines and treatments against COVID-19 are full of basic biology. The web was born at CERN from the needs of fundamental science. Google research engine comes from a brilliant mathematical ID. Artificial intelligence relies on statistical results. Cellular phones are full of transistors, integrated circuits, Wi-Fi code, and so on. GPS relies on the uh, Einstein theory of relativity and on quantum atomic clocks. The Genome Project has opened the way to gene therapies. PET scan and MRI imaging are based on uh, antimatter imaging. Generation and storage of renewable energy depends on the advances in physics, chemistry, and material sciences. Reduction in pollution and green chemistry rely on basic advances in chemistry. The second quantum revolution is having now applications. Now, two slides on uh, the statements which I made during the uh, opening ceremony at UNESCO on July uh, 20, 2022. Basic sciences are curiosity and inquiry driven. They are the foundations of education and the sources of discoveries which turn into applications. They can then serve an inclusive sustainable development, improving global equity and well-being together with a healthy and lively planet. All together, education, discoveries, applications, and inclusive sustainable development can boost collaborative and open basic sciences. This is the virtual circle that we want to promote during the International Year of Basic Sciences for sustainable development and after. To achieve this goal, we shall need you, teachers, scientists, the private sector, decision makers, and society at large to share this vision and act accordingly. And a slide now on the 
global challenges in front of us. They are a bit frightening, but they can be an opportunity. Global challenges approaches, so like uh, water, biosphere, uh, biodiversity. Have to, these approaches have to be done from components to system, uh, from local to global approach, from short-term to long-term approach, involving open science and the society at large. They are frightening, but they are a unique opportunity to cooperate and build a better world. Following further the current international mobilization, laws and treaties should be enacted towards these goals based on a dialogue between all stakeholders, including scientists. And I come now to the Olympiads. The thematic program of the Olympiad included the following scientific areas, very much connected to the international game. Environmental safety, environmental monitoring, sustainable development, factors of increased anthropogenic uh, influence on the biosphere, main environmental threats, environmental risk reduction, radiation uh, security, energy security, environmental effects on human health, demographics and urbanization, biological diversity, use of natural resources, modern global problems and possible solutions, green economy and the closed circle, circle. Development of the ESG uh, investment system in the green projects that balance the interest of economic, social, social and environmental development within the framework of sustainable development. The level of knowledge of all participants was very high. The students successfully coped with interesting and complex cases from FOSAGRO, which I want to thank, the general partner of the Olympiad within the championship, and each team showed a good result. So I want to thank all the students who have participated in the Olympiad, and thank you for your attention, and have a great awards ceremony. Thank you.